Microgravity investigations are also aimed at understanding the combustion process. A candle is an excellent example of the fluid transport mechanisms at work in the combustion process as it occurs in gravity. The heat produced by the flame melts the wax at the base of the wick. The wax, now a liquid, rises up the wick. As the liquid wax moves closer to the flame, it vaporizes and mixes with oxygen at the flame surface. The products of this chemical reaction are heated and become buoyant. As they are carried upward and away, convective forces move fresh oxygen toward the flame. Convective forces are also at work in the space between the wick and the flame surface where solid particles of soot are convected upward as well. At the flame's tip, some of these particles burn off with a bright yellow color. To overcome the loss of heat, the flame moves closer to the wick. The combination of these effects gives the flame its familiar teardrop shape. Now that we know how the combustion process works on Earth, how will it function in microgravity, where buoyancy-driven convection is virtually eliminated? What will the flame look like? How long will it burn? Or will it even burn at all? Let's see. As this burning candle reveals, the virtual absence of gravity-driven convection radically changes the appearance of the flame. Without buoyancy-driven convection, the flame must rely on the much slower process of diffusion to transport oxygen and fuel vapor. With no up for the heated reaction products to be drawn to, the flame assumes a spherical shape. Heat is lost to the candle, which reduces the amount of liquid wax to be vaporized into fuel. This quenches the bottom of the flame to where only part of the sphere is visible. The reduced rate of oxygen and fuel vapor transported to the flame because of these effects also affects how long the candle will burn. Studies like these help designers of spacecraft better understand the burning process in low gravity so that they can even more effectively safeguard against fire. But there are also ground-based benefits as well. Increased knowledge of the combustion process could lead to improved methods for fighting the uncontrolled fires that destroy lives and property each year. Combustion also affects us in other ways. Soot formed in the combustion process is a major contributor to pollution on this planet. By studying combustion and microgravity, where larger primary soot particles and much larger aggregates are formed, scientists may find clues to reducing the amount of pollution that results from the combustion process here on the ground.